Where'd you stop in remake? Uh, you left when I met Aerith? Uh, Wall Market. We just got to Wall Market. But now we are here because Yuffie stuff starts going down right around this point. And I need to re-familiarize myself with Yuffie gameplay, man. It's, I only played through this once. Well, guys, your girl finally made it to Midgar. Did you walk the whole way? Aggressive pigeons. Forces operative for the new Wu Tai government. I have orders to infiltrate Shinra headquarters and steal their ultimate materia. To prove to our common enemy that Wu Tai is not to be trifled with. Members of Avalanche, your full support. We got this. So, members of Avalanche. Yuffie's DLC has amazing music. <clears throat> Wait, does this mean what I think it does? Interesting. So, I gotta come to you, do I? You got some nerve. <laughs> yeah. All right. What did just what just happened? What just happened? Huh? Dang. Damn. Oh. Oh dear. No collision on that wall. All right, here we go. For the Super Bowl in three, two, one, boof! All right, for the Super Bowl in three, two, one. Taylor Swift wins. Jesus. Okay, all right. This kick is pretty good. Okay, so you can, Yuffie can fight effectively both close and from range. Um, X to strike with throwing star, hold to continue attacking while putting distance between her and the enemy. Guarding just before an enemy lands a hit will greatly reduce the damage Yuffie takes. Damn, bro. They really were just doing rebirth mechanics already. Now that we have the perspective, uh, and here's what's also crazy. The hold to attack thing from a distance is also similar to what Cloud gets by default in Rebirth, where you can you can put yourself in between the enemy after a dodge and like shoot laser strikes at enemies and shit. You get like blade beam all the time. That's sick. With the power of his 
crazy stuff. Yeah, her gameplay is crazy. Yeah, intermission adds a ton of new mechanics, and they're all to get ready for rebirth. By pressing Y, Yuffie can hurl her weapon at a target. Press X while it is away from her to perform long-range ninjutsu. The weapon will return to Yuffie after a certain amount of time. And you can teleport yourself to the weapon. Super fun. My god. Super fun. And now you get some better interactable stuff in general with the environment. We beat base game. No, no, no. We're doing this in approximate order. Meaning that this is about the same time in the story that we are when Yuffie does this stuff. So we just taken a small deviation. Got no time for small Oh my god, that is a big ass tornado. It's still doing so. With the power of his providence. How do you like this? Oh! Is that what that does? It's a ninjutsu. Oh, yo, wait a minute. What? <clears throat> oh. Uh, create a gust of wind that damages nearby enemies and launches them towards you. It actually, but it also, it also manipulates ninjutsu as well. That's sick. not the Niners fan. The thing I really dig about Rebirth is in terms of environmental interaction, they took a note directly from another Square Enix game. And it isn't what you guys are expecting. It was Guardians of the Galaxy. Guardians had this had this thing where around the environment to solve puzzles, each one of the Guardians and Guardians of the Galaxy had abilities they could use that would do things and it would be unique to that character. And then you'd have to combine them, you know, to get stuff done. Please leave me alone. Jesus, God. Um, and it looks like this one is doing the same. I don't believe it. This game is doing the same thing where uh, other characters from the latest trailer that I, before I was like, I don't want to see anything more can do that now. So that's incredibly cool. Guardians was actually a very fun game, and I loved the, the way they had like team member based environmental puzzle solving. It was actually kind of sick. Genuinely a, a wonderful game. 
And I, I remember saying, when we were playing Guardians, it was after Remake was out, right? Specifically being like, dude, wouldn't it be dope if you had the ability to do this in, in like, the next Final Fantasy game? Like, wouldn't this be sick if we could actually, you know, solve puzzles with Vincent? Have Sid jump up there and do something? Have Barrett shoot this down? Have Tifa or Cloud do that? Like, they actually work together? I don't know how to what degree they're doing it now, but they showed some of it and I was like, no fucking way. No fucking way. Tifa getting a grappling hook is kind of random. Well, what's she gonna do? Is she gonna ride a dolphin or something? They gave her something. What What is her innate ability that could interact with the environment more? She just punches and kicks, dude. <clears throat> and to be real, yeah, Tifa already had a grappling hook in this game. She's, she's a monk, man. She do, she really can't do much to interact with an environment. I forget what Cloud is doing. Yeah, I don't know if we know what Cloud's environment, environmental interaction is. I don't know if we know. He gets headaches, yes. Yeah, he can like, he has big sword, can knock things down. Maybe. That would make sense. Her grappling hook is the only one that survives remake. Everyone else is broke. Good point. Damn. Good point. Barrett's grappling hook breaks. Clouds breaks. The only character that survived with a grappling hook was Tifa. Good point. God damn. Because she was the lightest, yeah. Obstruction. What material did I get? I wasn't even paying attention. We were talking about shit. Uh, I got ass ass and parry. Steel and deadly dodge and healing. I get a, I get a lot actually. Um, steadfast block. Was it HP up? I'll put steadfast block on there. Yo, Raymond, thanks for the sixty-nine, dude. Sixty-nine, dude. Dogs like mess you up, huh? These dogs literally, they, they kill you. I remember this. Wow, it's literally the same. Yeah, these dogs suddenly do like a ton of damage. Uh, so not even a thank you? Simon, thank you. 
Goliath. Music is just so good. What's his number? That's a good point. Is this also Mr. Number 11? No, he's 20. the next section of the demo releasing uh 10 days right chad it was the 21st or 22nd does it feel like rebirth's camera is a bit more pulled out for fights i kind of like how close you were in remake oh uh, you can change that that's a setting you can make it super close I don't know what time the demo would drop, yeah. 16. And I think this is literally where all the monsters are around Sector 7, right? Yeah, this game has problems on PC, Draco. Um, you have to run the game in DirectX 11, and there's several other quality of life mods. If you just Google like FF7 Remake quality of life mods, you'll find the, the stuff that people put in here to make it run a bit better. The number one thing is turning off the dynamic resolution that the game has by default. So if you also Google FF7 Remake PC dynamic resolution mod, you'll find you'll find the stuff to fix. It makes the game run way better. Uh, the game naturally runs on DirectX 12, and it's just shitty. Long story short. Okay, that wrong neck smell's gone. Must have gotten used to it. <laughs> Way things are going, I'll be working. These hooded guys were definitely in the OG game. <clears throat> what do you want to see most in Rebirth? Uh, I don't even want to talk about it anymore. We've seen enough, right? I'm at the point where if I talk about stuff that I want to see in Rebirth, it's just going to proc someone to be like, that's in it. And I'm like, I don't know if I wanted to know that. At this point, I don't know if I wanted to know that. So I think when it comes to Rebirth conversations, I'm sort of just going to wait and not talk about them much anymore. Because I, I actually don't, not, at this point, I don't want to know. I just want to experience it. I'm sold, bro. You can't sell me any more on that game. He, he, to be real, there's only one thing I want to know more of. There's only one thing I'm genuinely curious about, the final version of Rebirth. And it is fidelity. It's like the graphics mode. It's performance stuff. I'm wondering if some of the weird things that are happening in the demo are, fi are, are errors for the demo and possibly will be better in the final version of the game because we've we've heard from graphics analysis uh, uh, graphic an uh, analysts that the performance runs running in 1440p it's there it's rendering those pixels but for some reason it looks mad fuzzy and it has to be an error so the hope is that oh dude yeah 1440p ff7 rebirth in 60 fps would be amazing Um, how long could the game be? 100 hours? They said it could be, if you, if you do everything in it, like 80 to 100 hours, yeah. The amount of content they put into it is pretty, it's pretty substantial. Monsters have been acting strange since the bomb. Not gonna be good for any of us. Wu Tai's got their claws in here. Local Reactor 5 has been temporarily shut down. There we go. Down, and all fires have been successful. Right after Reactor 5 blew up. 
Xbox isn't shutting down Parker Fraser. Xbox might be going third party, which is great for everybody. Xbox doesn't need to be in the hardware market anymore. Can do better. Is it worth playing the demo? Does it spoil some things? <laughs> Yo. There's our palm. Yes. It does. A little bit. So you're Avalanche? I'm Gigi. Follow me. W wait up. I mean, it. I, I think you'll be aware of what's in the demo. It is the flashback. I figured so, w agent could find their own way. you know, elite, but it's it is the flashback. What exactly is a W anyway? Anyone who lives where you just came from, think of it as a code. Uh, Yo, Raider Falco, Yuffie DLC was great. Yeah, this? to be real, several things in this DLC made me very excited for the next game because... They fix a lot of combat issues. They fix a lot of side quest issues. They fix a lot of level design issues. Is a level design isn't the best ever, not the best ever. However, many things that were big problems in remake uh, the normal game are legit solved in this DLC. Where it's like, yeah, I don't think I was ever really like bored with any of the Yuffie DLC. There was never a part where it was like, yeah, this is really cool. Uh, yeah, this part. And then, oh, this is really cool. Uh, yeah, this part. It didn't really have that. It, it was just like, Yuffie DLC was just a steady climb the whole time. So, uh, I didn't I didn't really find myself hating any of the, the zones or anything like that. You know? Anything in there. Felt pretty good. Yo, our author Valentine, thanks for the raid. Um, Yeah. So... I only played it once, it is true, but I had a really good time on my first playthrough. Sid could kick your ass! Saying you're a fresh face is all. Oh, don't worry. <laughs> I know exactly what you're saying. <clears throat> Give me a break, will ya? Fort Condor is stupid ready? fun, dude. Well, here we are. Ladies first. They'll turn it. And when they do, we're gonna treat them to a feast. I can almost taste your pizza now, Jesse. Shame, since you won't be getting it. It's funny they're talking about stuff we don't hear about in the ma main game. <clears throat> it's not a little sick. I'm a little sick. A little bit. A little stuffed up. Still. I'm working through it, man. I, I don't feel like I'm lacking the energy, so I'm, I'm back to working out again. It feels nice, you know? I'm glad that none of my lifts are super compromised, so I'm, I'm lower in size, but I'm, I'm definitely not less strong, which is nice. But man, I went through three months of being sick, chat. Three months of getting sick, getting better, getting sick again within a week. Getting better for a couple weeks? after a month of being sick, and then getting sick again. And now I'm in the middle of being sick again right now. But it's not as bad. Yo, Jacob Vera, thanks for the 10 gift subs, dude. Thanks for moving the gift sub goal. And we, we went to our doctor about it, where it's like, how is our little girl getting sick? You know it. You, you know it, Nico. You know it. How is our little girl getting sick so much? And then we went back to the doctor again. They're like, no, this is normal. <laughs> they're like they're like nope that's normal <laughs> I'm like oh god do you have a weak immune system yes I have a weak immune system it's called a three year old anybody that is a parent will tell you this is what happens you're gonna get sick constantly because your kids will get you sick constantly especially when they start going to school and as soon as Ripley went to school she got sick and she went back again, she got sick again. And she went back again, guess what? She got sick again. And every time, I got sick. Because of course, I'm around her a lot. And she's coughing in my face. 
So she's just got to make it through this, you know? You just got to make it through this rough patch. I'm going to wear a hazmat suit. Um, probably need to use the thing to get this buffed out first. Yeah. Need to use the elemental ninjutsu. No, I'm not taking antibiotics. I only take antibiotics if I have an infection. And I got checked out if I had an infection. They're like, you're good. Just, it's just, it's a cold. That That's is Axel. Hi. My name is Yuki. Materia Hunter and Elite Special Forces Operative for the new Wutai government. I have orders to infiltrate Shinra HQ and steal their ultimate materia. To prove to our common enemy that Wutai is not to be trifled with. Members of Avalanche, with your full support, we got this. <laughs> Ready to rumble, huh? You better believe it. So, did you guys meet Sonan yet? He was supposed to be here. Yeah, he got in three days ago. He's out on the town as we speak. <laughs> really seems to be enjoying it here. Oh, he does, does he? You, uh, got any bags? As if. Ninjas always travel light. It's like a rule. But I did bring these, Wutai's famous Dachau beans. Eat up. And here you go. Uh, huh. mm. Don't these, like, taste like shit? Or oh, they're crazy hard, right? Oh. <laughs> uh, Can you eat these things? <laughs> it's like eating a walnut <laughs> with the shell. Insane. <sighs> Do me a favor, Yuffie, and wait here for Sonon. I gotta head out. Your ID should be ready for pickup by now. Then why don't I join ya? Nah, I got this. Besides, you reek of trouble. <laughs> she definitely has, like, the juvenile anime character energy, you know? <clears throat> Everyone else has been, like, fraught with hardship and shit. And they're all, like, hurting in some way. And Yuffie isn't quite there yet. You know? Until the DLC ends. She doesn't have her loss yet. All, all characters in Final Fantasy VII are dealing with loss. It's what, it's what makes the game, like, the characters actually good. If you had an ID, you'd normally just take the train up there. But with all the commotion going on, that's not really an option. Security's on high alert. If you ask me, your best bet is to... <laughs> she, everyone's had trauma. She has not had hers. Yet. <laughs> Be my guest, then. Go get killed. Kate Sith, on the, on the surface level, doesn't have any trauma. But then you learn later. Oh, no. Kate Sith has trauma. I'm looking for is in the Shinra building, right? And where is that exactly? <laughs> Ignorance truly is Vincent is the most fucked up. What did you just say? Oh, <laughs> didn't mean to offend you. Did Yuffie have trauma in the original? Not really. Which I would argue makes Yuffie one of the weaker characters of OG Final oh, Fantasy VII. One. Why didn't you say so? As for what to do once you make it into the like, building, ask Naya. She'll give you the deeds. She's she's easily one of the worst characters in in OG Seven. People like her because she's like you know uh, the, the the cute anime girl. But her story kind of boils down to dad issues and but her dad's still alive. Dad issues and the fact that her hometown is being turned into a tourist attraction, right? And they want to restore kind of like the pride of Wu Tai. That was about it. I think. I'd have to go back and play it again. You must be tired from your trip. Why don't you get some rest? With all the noise in this city? I'm freaking possible. How about you tell me where in the Shinra building they're keeping that materia instead? Don't hold out on me now. I mean, it sucks. I know you know. It does suck. Actually, she's she's essentially losing some of her culture. At least 
It does suck, but the 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 over the overbearing elements of like the Wu Tai War, all that kind of stuff, are not really present in the OG game. Which means the advanced weaponry division probably deals with it, and since that's in the basement, I see. She just doesn't get a lot of time to cook. To be real. Vincent's another side character that is skippable, and he gets a ton. Vincent's like super critical to the story. And he's missable. You can just let him sleep. What I like about this is that I like Yuffie after this DLC. I actually do. about ready to die of boredom. Want to play Fort Condor? Fort Condor? <laughs> I should have known. Didn't expect that. It hasn't been out long, so there's no way you W's would have heard of it. Uh, yes I have. And what's more, I'm awesome. I'm very interested how they like you so hard you wonder if you ever knew twist her into the story, you know? I, benefit, then. Let me go I don't want to know. We know that's going to happen, but I don't want to know. And here comes one of the best parts of this whole fucking game. A board game where you employ units and material to destroy your opponent's headquarters. By the way, this is Fort Condor is balls. Capital B-A-L-L-S in FF7 OG. Game is balls and all you want to do is skip it. It is no fun. So massively improved. They turn it into an actual mini game now. Oh, come on, man. Dude, no, it sucks. You just want to get through it. Most people don't realize that there's a speed up option for Fort Condor. And if you don't, without the speed up, it is a absolute slog. The game begins. Both you and your opponent have to uh, have three bases, headquarters and two outposts. To win the match, you must destroy your opponent's headquarters and have more bases left standing when the timer runs out. This effectively works the same way as Fort Condor, you know? Oh no, it's very easily cheese, but if you don't know the cheese, then you have to play it. Units will automatically march forward and engage enemies once they've been deployed. Uh, move a cursor to the spot you wish to deploy a unit. Press A to select the unit you want. So, uh, I will take this, um, I don't know. Uh, I have five ATB right now, so they add, like, the ATB gauge to this. So... I have a fire. You have limited spells you can use. I have two ATB here. Let's send this, uh, security officer. I have to just wait for my ATB to fill up now. That guy's dead. Oh, this guy is weak. To all of this. Let's put a slug ray. A grenadier. Nuke him. So the whole point is to move the line, right? Get advantage and move the line. Engage the base. How about we put... Oh my god, oh my god. In anti-air. That should auto-attack. Put a blast ray over here. I'm gonna cure. Guard dog. Push the line again. Use fire on this guy. Poof. Uh, they're, they're played like cards, so I have to wait. I'm not getting destroyed back here, am I? So I'm running out of materia. I don't need to focus on two. And then we just bum rush this, right? Doesn't matter if they get my stuff. Once we take two, they're dead.
Done. How did the new minigame and rebirth compare to this? So, Queen's Blood, the main card game of rebirth, has a learning curve, is all I'll say. As someone that is not crazy and in depth with most TCGs, uh, I didn't immediately understand everything on first try. So I need more time with it, long story short. I have heard from TCG people that it is quite fun, and I I've saw some people that played nothing but it. I don't, I don't know, I don't know what Gwent plays like, chat, but it's a three-lane TCG with cards that have abilities and modifiers and some that don't, but they also have like grids that modify the grid around it. Like, I don't know exactly how it works, but um, in, and some people have said it doesn't have the simplicity of Triple Triad, right? Yeah, Jesse Cox made a video about it. He really liked it. Um, it's kind of got some Marvel snap in there a little bit. I'm like adding up the lanes and how much that? is how much the value of the lanes are. You mean you did it? It's nothing like Teppin, no. Wow. <laughs> well, if you're looking for a challenge, the Undercity's got no shortage of serious players. I've heard it, from some people it's better than Triple Triad, sure. it's not as good as Triple Triad, but it's definitely better than whatever the hell was in Final Fantasy Nine. And I, I played like the tutorial and I tried another match and then, and I got my ass handed to me. I got destroyed, dude. I was like, whoa, I need to figure this out. You know about the VR combat simulation module, right? Huh? Uh, of course I do. Why wouldn't I? I remember not playing the FF9 card game that much. Modulation. Hmm? <laughs> Kinda. It's a machine that puts you in a virtual world where you can practice fighting all you want. There's even a portal. Yeah, to be real, the Fort Condor minigame is more like Teppin. Hardly ever see technology. Because in um So what do you say? In Queen's Blood, there's turns. Right? Fort Condor and Teppin have ATB. So you just like weigh your battle gauge and the price of your your units on that battle gauge. I'm sure you'd be happy to help. Sonon's still not back. Must be in Walmart then. What's Walmart? Let's just say it's a place for people with mature tastes. Mature tastes. There's lots of different establishments. It's Kinda hard to explain. No, I think I get it. Like bars filled with smoke so thick you can't even see, and drinks so bitter you want to spit them right back out. Uh, where everyone gets drunk and complains about how kids just don't understand the value of hard work. They'll be the death of society. Ugh, how can they not see that they're the ones destroying it? <laughs> Wutai's got a place like that, where grown-ups drink their lives away. It's called the Happy Turtle. Interesting. There's a Happy Turtle in Midgar as well. Huh? I don't know where exactly because I've never actually been, but I do see their flyers from time to time. <laughs> you do, huh? Oh, they're taking down Midgar one citizen at a time. <laughs> it's like we have a Jack in the Box here too. <clears throat> I thought that was only where I lived. There's a man who goes around putting up flyers for the bar. People call him Old Snapper. And he doesn't dress like your average Midgar male. Might be from Wutai. I gotta find him. Man deserves some Dachau beans. Ugh. All this talking is giving me a headache. I'm gonna go do some recon. <laughs> I won't stop you. Just don't go too far, okay? Side quests everywhere. Oh, the joy and cheer that away that the happy turtle. Ho oh, ho, greetings, soft shell. So, how many of those flyers did you find? What? <coughs> Collect just six flyers for the happy turtle, and a one of a kind prize could be yours. So, this was also in the original game chat. Nope. Well, then. 
Allow me to explain. Throughout the whole game, you find these flyers. Then eventually you turn them in for some, like, endgame shit. Six of our fabulous flyers from around Sector 7, and you'll earn yourself a prize sure to delight even the dourest Diamondback. <laughs> Sadly, a handful of locals have taken to acting like stink pots toward anything Mutayan, especially since the bombing. Some have even gone so far as to tear down my poor posters. Little wonder nobody's won yet. Bummer. <sighs> Which leaves me in a pretty predicament. But hey, my pain might be your game. By collecting just a few flyers, you could be the first, and at this rate, the only winner of the most testudinarious contest in Midgar's history. This here is a sample of one of our ads. Breathtaking, isn't it? Now it's up to you to find all six. Leave no shell unturned, no pond unplumbed. That prize is as good as mine. Ah, since you're here, you wouldn't happen to have any Condor coins on you, would you? This job may keep a shell over my head, but my real passion's coin collecting. I'd gladly part with some oddities and commodities in exchange for those little buttes. I have one Condor coin. I played the shit out of this game. I did every single Fort Condor fight you could do. I did every single one. It was so much fun. I kind of want to play a few more. Just because I enjoyed it. Those are all condor fights. Uh, yeah, these are rank one condor fights. You feel your shoulders freaking out. If. Wait, who are you? <laughs> Don't mean to be rude or anything, kid. But do you mind? I'm not exactly in the mood. Hmm. Not that I'm surprised after what went down here. Shima's not just going to stand up to let a third party. Salary man. So when your opponent leads with this, you respond with this? <sighs> this game is insane. Hey there, suit. How's that conversation with yourself working out? You for your shoulder. Oh, sorry. I didn't mean to disturb anyone. My daughter's been dying to play this game, and I promised to teach her. But first, I have to teach myself. That game wouldn't happen to be Fort Condor, would it? If you want, I'll help you figure stuff out. You, you will? Oh, thanks. That'd be a great help. What a good dad. What a good dad. Showing interest in their child's interest? What a good dad. Um, edit loadout. Um, okay, six two. All right. So Whoa, I didn't want to quit. Victory isn't you don't mind helping Chill, brother. me hone my skills, do you? Heavily green focus, so prioritize red. I forgot there's there, there's counters for that shit. <clears throat> there you go. I don't have any high high value units yet, so you know, we just let her rock. 
Yeah, like red counters green, blue counters red, right? Damn, that guy got fucked up. got pushed back mad hard I'm waiting to build the guard dog went straight for the base and got destroyed dude Getting our asses kicked. You eventually run out of units. Oh, guard dogs only attack structures. Oh, shit. Uh, that's green, so red should counter it. It's an area heal as well. Damn, that's why guard dogs are crazy good. They ignore everything. I think I'm starting to get the hang of this. Starting to get the hang of what? Losing? Losing on purpose, to be precise. If I can let my daughter win without her suspecting, that to me is as good as a victory. Boo! <laughs> I know, I know. But if it'll make her happy... Boo! That's why everybody likes the Shinra middle manager. Right? Everyone's like, I like this guy. And he's acting like a weird dickhead at the start. A weird, like, Shinra Corpo. But everyone ends up liking him because he's, like, normal. Uh, scout out Sector 7. Wait. I can go in here now. Something's getting knocked around over there, dude. Uh, nah, y'all are, uh, just sitting around still. Who is making all that noise? Dude, uh, an item definitely got smashed into the environment or some shit. And it's bouncing around like it's in a Haldron Collider. Who's making popcorn? Stamp, the good boy who never stops helping. 
Hackett's given me a very important mission to buy bread for tonight's dinner. So with his super duper nose, Stamp went into town to sniff out a bakery. He went sniff sniff here and a sniff sniff there. Even finding milk, sausage, and cake didn't distract him. Propaganda. Warning material, huh? Reduce debuff duration by 25%. Eh. Yeah, allows you to uh, allows an ally to follow a leader's attack command with an attack from leaked material. <clears throat> Synergy. Welcome back to the stage of history. I don't need steel. Using his trusty nose, Stamp was able to find the best, most yummiest bakery in the whole city. And from that bakery, Hollywood North, thank you. Most yummiest smelling loaf of bread. <laughs> you know the landlady, Mom. Attention! For three gil, you can play Fort Condor against the lovely Kyrie. Jesus. Christ. It's not Yuffie. Yeah, for a while I thought we people thought that was Yuffie in disguise. Searching for candidates. candidate detected. Performing physical analysis. She seems relatively agile and has substantial muscle mass for her stature. Hmm. An acceptable candidate. Hey, uh, you want to tell me what you're mumbling about? My apologies. My name is Chadley. Would you be interested in helping me with my research? I'm Yuffie. Nice to meet you. So, what are you researching? Combat. It would entail doing battle with a summon in a virtual arena using this portable simulator. Interested? Hmm. Sure. Why not? I'm a kick its butt. Very well then. Ramu? Sure. Sure. Why not? All right. Jesus, bro. I saw the life bar move. All right. I saw the life bar move. It was a close match. However, I did manage to obtain some invaluable data. Analyze and learn from your mistakes so that you can claim victory next time. I did see the life bar move. Onan's gotta be back by now. So, battle settings. Temporarily enhance wind ninjutsu. That's what I want. Dang wind material. Um. I'm trying it again. Can I assume you're ready to do battle with a virtual summon? I'm trying it again. Oh, 
I stunned? Excuse me. Dog. Yeah, so that changes those ninjutsus. Oh dear fuck. Damn it, brother! Shit. Holy shit, dude. I can't recover fast enough. I can't recover fast enough. Damn, no way. What the hell? That was sick. <laughs> Judgment Bolt. DPS check. I got this, bro. I got this. Bro, I have this. What a shame. It was a Shut up, Chadley. Kiss my mistakes. ass. Let me back you in. I assume you're ready to do battle with the virtual summon. It's survivable. 100%. You just need to time it right. You just need to time your limit. I almost had him on stun as well. God! Oh my god, they completely stun you. And I bounced into it and got stunned again, and now I'm just getting my ass kick. Restart. <clears throat> What a shame. It was a close match. Analyzing Cat Chadley, you can lick my nuts and kiss my ass. Let me back in. That one doesn't count. What? No way, dude. You have to be kidding me. You have to be kidding me, game. I can't be stunned from this. That was blocking. Okay, that was a bad one. All right. All right, that was a tough one. Analyze and learn from your mistakes. I have to get the uh, the wind buff and.
and start establishing a little offense. That stun lasts forever. You are dead. Ninjutsu. Oh, wind. That's cheap, dude. Block that. No way. No, why would one, one go right underneath you? Oh my god, that's complete trash. And you bounce into another one? Holy shit, dude. All right. All right. All right. God damn. Okay, so we need something that gets us out of that stun situation. There's no way. That can't be allowed. Poison, time, bind, and subversion? So do I do warding subversion? think so that stun is specific to Ramu nah. Nah. oh I haven't done this I have actually I haven't done this uh. something evade an enemy attack really fine I like the elemental stuff I think it was actually working pretty good I'll also just try this to see if it helps Can I, assume you're ready I like to the challenge the I appreciate the challenge here Oh my god, the delay. Can't block that, that's right. It didn't. poorly that went poorly um i didn't get stunned though i don't know if i landed in stun but i don't know if it worked or not you just can't get hit you just can't get messed around oh i got the proficiency i did okay
I can't even dodge that shit, bro. No, 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 no. Too long. Too long. And I'm stuck again? Too much. Game, it's too much. Am I still going to be stuck in this shit? The snowball, dude. The snowball. Okay. Splendid. Thanks to the data you provided during your battle, I succeeded in developing a new materia. One might say you were faster than lightning. And with the Lord of Levin on your side, your enemies will struggle to keep up. Cool. Cool. I'm so happy, but also so sad. That was fun. I'm back. Ah, there you are. Someone's been expecting you. What took you? Sorry about that. What? Just thinking how you're nothing like your old man. <laughs> anyway, it's nice to meet you. I'm Sonon Kasakabe. I was lucky enough to learn how to fight from the- Yeah, I don't want to talk about him. Let's talk about something else. Like how you've adjusted to life here. Indulging in adult pastimes. Which I guess means drinking yourself stupid. <laughs> Last thing I need is my partner stinking like an over the hill has been. Speaking of drinking, you been to the Happy Turtle? If you're part of Operation Down in One, I take it back. I am there next time you go. Don't worry, I can do adult stuff just fine. Well, I don't even know where to begin with all of that. But I do know I haven't heard of Operation Down in One. At any rate, I'm looking forward to working with you, boss. Boss? As in me? Well, I've got a few years on you, I'll admit. But out of us two, you've done this longer. I... I guess I have. Boss, huh? I could get used to that. Beats being stuck on the bottom rung, that's for sure. <laughs> After we get the materia, we can celebrate your promotion of the Happy Turtle. Yeah, yeah! <laughs> What that bird in here? God, it's a messenger pigeon. Hand off set a depot on municipal storage. Okay. Yuffie, Sonon, you mind coming along? Not at all. Need to scope out the city anyway. Really get to know the enemy. We'll be passing through a rough part of town, so you'll want to go prepared. I'll leave you to get ready. Hit me up outside when you're done, okay? Be right there. You can't control Sonon in combat. Instead, issue commands to him. 
Pressing LT to have him synergize with Yuffie. He will team up with her to perform attacks in tandem. So this is equivalent to... Um, not the big costing team up attacks, but like synergy abilities where you can work with other characters in Rebirth that costs no ATB. But they allow you to do stuff even though you don't have any ATB to work with. Kind of like, yeah, Dual Blade Strike is the way it works in the demo. Yeah. Where you can make them do stuff even though you don't have any ATB to work with. That was a complaint of Rebirth's, uh, I'm sorry, of Remake's mechanics as well, was that without ATB, there's not much you can do. Especially if you can't, like, hit the enemy. Yeah, synergy ability is the big move. Synergy skill is the no cost move. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yo, Toby One Kenobi and SG Angus, thank you, dudes. Set him to auto. So stay close. So now, where are we headed? To pick up your IDs. There's no way to get topside without him. But I thought DJ was getting our high Ds. What happened with that? He is, but those are high Ds. It takes more than one ID or even two to survive in this town. Don't forget, Midgar was built by Shinra for Shinra. Those tyrants! The claws are white, boss. At least while we're in Shinra territory. Whoa. Friends slain. So Yuffie, what do you think of the Undercity? Way too crowded, I can't stand it. Ugh, and the stench. How can anyone live here? I gotta agree with you about the smell, but you get used to it quick enough. And the crowds stop bothering you eventually. The place can grow on you if you give it a chance. Uh, wait a second. Are you actually saying you like it here? I thought you hated it. Midgar isn't the enemy. Shinra is. I know W's don't really see the distinction, but you do. Then um, what was that stuff on the news? About a reactor blowing up and all. No way, that was an accident. It had to be Avalanche. Shh. Sorry. Everyone uh, talks too much. Those guys there are from the Splinter Cell. Splinter Cell? They used to be with Avalanche, but left after a policy dispute. Well, look who it is. Loving your work. So how many reactors is that now? Wait. Where's oh yeah, now? Cloud's dead. We lost him. You what? He will be okay though, right? Well, of course he will. A little fall ain't gonna stop a hard ass like him. He'll come swaggering back before long. You mark my words. Yeah, I guess he will. Now, can we talk about President Shithead? Spouting all that crap about us? That lying son of a bitch! Working for Wu Tai! Avalanche ain't nobody! Barrett! Oh, yeah. Speaking of sons of bitches, I heard that Walmart's very own Don Corneo has his stooges out looking for you. Huh? Is that so? Don't got time for no low-level mobsters. We got Shinra in our sights. That lady just like looking at everybody. You and I both know this is far from over. 
right? Might as well get some rest while we still can. Right. Damn. Damn. <laughs> Damn. Wow. She's like a real person. That response. <laughs> the, the way she responded to that was like, damn. She's like a normal human. What the hell? That's crazy. <laughs> the character emotions and the, that, re, that, that line delivery. Good lord. They're like people. Hmm. Tell me, Tifa coming to terms that this is like her life now? I'm gonna look into this. <sighs> Good luck out there. They're the ones who blew up the reactors. Cool. Should we say hi? No, better not. After what they've done, you gotta assume Shinra's on their tail. Should keep our distance. Yeah, my thoughts exactly. <laughs> yeah, they don't have nearly enough random loveless dialogue, right? They don't monologue loveless nearly enough for them to be actual real characters. Good point. People in the splinter cell, they couldn't care less about collateral damage, long as Shinra goes down. So what's wrong with that? Sounds good to me. We're not out to blow Midgar up or tear it down. We want to save it from Shinra. Look around. Nine out of ten of the people living here are innocent bystanders. We can't level their home to take down one company. Well, that company almost leveled our home, and they've got to learn their lesson. Yeah, I get that. Gotta admit. I'm surprised you agreed to work with us. We're just doing what we think is necessary to build a brighter future. That's all there is to it. In other words, you're working with us so we don't work with your old buddies, knowing what would happen if we did. Uh, can we table this for later, maybe? Not sure now's the best time for heavy topics. Yeah, couldn't agree more. Consider it tabled. So, what exactly does this ultimate materia do? I'm guessing you have big plans for it? Like after we steal it? Well, the more materia you have, the stronger you are, right? So once we've got the ultimate materia, we'll be stronger than anyone. I guess you will. <laughs> it's gonna be awesome! And not just that. By sneaking into Shinra HQ and snatching their most prized possession from under their noses, not only will we deal a massive blow to their morale, but we'll prove to them that while Wu Tai might be down, we're not out. That the gist of it, boss? It sure is. <laughs> <laughs> See that one? <laughs> well, hello there, hot stuff. How'd you like a shot at the big time? <laughs> With those looks, I guarantee you're golden. <laughs> so what do you say? Ready to be queen of the Undercity? Hey! What am I? Chop liver? <laughs> Kid does not hear this. You'll be a good girl and cover your ears, okay? <laughs> You'd be living and working in the most luxurious residence in all you of the world. You want me to be one of Carnera's brides, is that it? Which makes you a person of influence, right? Oh, so you know your stuff. But I'd say I'm more of a helping hand. So why don't you help me help you? Let's get going. What are you doing? Get your hands <laughs> off me. Now don't go playing hard. <laughs> 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 know any kids who can do that? No, you don't, because I'm an adult. <laughs> also, I'm pretty hot stuff myself, thank you very much. <laughs> sure, whatever helps you sleep at night, little girl. Wow. <laughs> You want to pull up a seat at the grown-ups table? Be my guest. Jesus Christ! Doofy and Sonon synergize attacks make enemies susceptible to staggering are highly effective. 
Both have ATB charges available. They can perform synergized versions of their abilities. Jesus fucking shit, dude. God damn, they're crazy. Oh, so once you're done synergizing, you can build more. Wow, okay. So cool. Hey, at least you try. You're gonna eat those hearts, you smug piece of shit. Boss, huh? boss, you're not gonna believe this. The hottie of the century just fell right into our lap. She did? <laughs> Goods under the hood, chunk in the trunk, and down for a bumpy ride. <laughs> Sorry, ladies. Just a Yakuza game. We've decided to go with a more qualified applicant. Let's go. Just a Yakuza game. Yo, dirty. Thank you. Demori and Kale, Blue Mercy. I wrestled the Jedi. Thank you. Great name. Toby One Kenobi. Appreciate it. Talent scouts. They'll say and do just about anything to get unsuspecting girls back to the Don's mansion. I thought it looked seedy. Guess you'd have to be a scumbag to build a place like that. Oh ho! And how do you know what it looks like? I saw it while I was scouting the area. Yo, Cambo Brown, thank you. Well, we're here. Now we just have to wait. Wait for who? Not sure. We used to have someone who could make fake IDs in house, but they went off with the splinter cell. We've never dealt with this particular vendor before. Hmm. That'd have been Jesse? <sighs> hey, uh, what's up with that guy? Mako poisoning. That's what happens if you don't make the grade as a soldier. Or when the military's done using you. Just another one of Shinra's victims. Walking into a crate. So gonna get it. If it's Shinra, you've got beef with You'll be needing these. Can't access the plate without them. This guy just looks like a Tekken create a character. Drake. <laughs> They're gonna scan for those things on the train, so make sure to keep them on you. Thank you. <laughs> hey, hold up! <clears throat> Try it. You'll love it. <laughs> ah! Foreigners and their weak jaws. <sighs> we should probably head back and wait for Gigia. <laughs> Enjoy your material while you still can, Shinra! Cause we're coming! Not yet, boss. Huh? With things the way they are, we can't just go strolling up to the front gates. We're gonna need Avalanche to help us bypass security before we can do anything. Aww. Hey, how's it going? funny was that Marco well I got a bunch of new stuff too that's meant for you dang what do I even put on you Item master. Yo, Jacob Vera, thank you. Oh, you need this. Yeah, you actually do. So, 
Oops. Provoke goes down here. I put synergy with like what? Lightning? Allows you to follow the leader's attack command with a attack from linked materia. Does not consume ATB or MP. Works with fire, ice, lightning, and wind. So if I just use ATB, there's a chance that he'll do that. Is that what I'm reading that as? I don't remember how it works. Get any bonuses from playing Remake and Rebirth? You do, yes. You get some bonuses. Yo, Goblin Slayer, thank you. Yeah, sewn on it pretty much has every aspect of a playable character outside of the fact that I can't run around and mash attack with him, you know? What? Huh, what's this about? <laughs> Change of plans. Go to the pillar. We'll explain there. Hurry. GG. Change of plans? The S7 pillar? Otherwise known as the roof of the slums. Follow me, guys. Yo, classy Kivo. Well, if you, oh, you know me, it's high time things need to sit here. You like living in the fast lane, huh? Yeah. yeah, I'm not your garden variety lieutenant. I'm a rare bloom. More like a mutant. <laughs> Ooh, I'm so gonna use that. Should have seen. That bastard's at the honeybee. Ooh, I'm moving fast. <laughs> hey, almost there. Hey, that's Gigi. You're right. Hold up. Uh, hey, I'm talking to you. Answer me. Uh, well, uh, uh, look, a Moogle. Uh, mm -hmm. <laughs> Stop! Uh, we gotta help. You two go after Gigi. I'll head back and tell the others what happened. That way. Boss, we might not be back for a while. Best to stock up before leaving. This boy's all work for just one. Happy turtle. 240 hertz, thank you. Whatever it was, he probably did it for us. time for that boss. Right. An oasis, thank you. Under its staff? Dude, we didn't even use the first one yet. Shit. We got nowhere to run. Tell us what you know. Now! <laughs> How about later? I'm not stupid. Hey! After him! Oh! Talk about fast! Is he one of us? We don't have time to get into that boss. You can ask him yourself once he's safe. Come on. Sick. So sick. Neo Hurts, what's up, dude? I'd have hidden something back there. Got 
Holy shit. Grab my box? Not yet. Context sensitive jazz. I'm getting way too many weapons way too fast. <coughs> Excuse me. Sorry. Yo, Pringle Phoenix, thank you. Appreciate the prime. We should radio the other squads. Aha! Been looking for you. The hell? We'll bring Shinra to its knees. Get him down. So sick. I gotta toss this thing to get it off. Flying enemies, I'm not worried about them at all. I really want to spend a lot of time fighting with Red 13. I want to get used to his play style. His, fight, his fighting style is very weird. He's like stubby in, in Rebirth, but he's a tank. He's meant to be defensive. the wrong buttons. The L one. Synergize Art of War. That was that one, okay. Not too shabby, Sonar. We got, I've got new attacks and buttons on here. Gotta get used to them. You can't play as them in Remake? No, Red 13's not playable in Remake. He's playable in Rebirth. And I've played as him. It's just getting, you know, figuring it out. Snow Cherry using the Prime thank you as well. And Pokali, welcome back. Thanks, dudes. I do appreciate it. Every time, I, I'm not used to asking for subs chat, so my, I'm sorry if it seems I'm so uncomfortable doing it. I'm very much not used to doing this kind of stuff. But Zero Fate, Maya Astera, appreciate it, everybody. Thank you so much. I didn't find the Switch, did I? I didn't. I don't know where I'm going. Chelsea again! <laughs> Constantly. Thank you, Chelsea I didn't find this goddamn switch. Thanks very much, dude. Uh, Yuffie, where we gotta toss this thing? Get around here? Oh, it goes back here. I think it's anywhere in this zone. Emblem weapon, thank you. And Fetko, thanks for the prime. Those guys all respawn? What? Gotcha. Interesting. And John Masso, yo, thanks for the seven gift subs, dude. Thanks, guys. Think in the chat, dodge. This is the ninja run. Untouchable, thanks as well. <clears throat> Being in here to throw at? Pretty cool. I feel 
bad saying this, but after what happened back home, I just kind of assumed no one in Avalanche could be trusted. Like, they were all the same as the ones I fought. Yeah, I can imagine. But it looks like Avalanche has changed a lot since that went down home. Whoa, what are they talking about? Something bad happened with Avalanche? What are they talking about? I mean, I didn't put that together. Come on. It might be something like before crisis stuff, yeah. You guys just don't know when to quit. Damn, the music, dude. Form. Evade an attack, ATB increases when successful. And be used while airborne. So I need to assign that really bad. Now would be a time to use it. Oh, you have to time it. Okay, you really gotta time it. I'm about to fucking die. Did the wrong freaking thing. Oh shit. So abilities. Prey. Sonon. Oh my god. Abilities. Storm. Cool. God damn, is that fun? I got another one, brother. Have I even learned the things on this one yet? I haven't, dude. I need to use Brumal form. So, um, battle settings, Yuffie, give me Brumal form. What's on Sonon right now? Okay. says they've got the suspect detained near pillar maintenance. We better not keep them waiting. What? Pillar maintenance? How'd they let him get that? Well, if I know. Come on. We're heading right here. Wait, hey, boss, no! Up ahead. That's 
a pill that those troopers were talking about. Assuming the maintenance facility. What? Huh. Yeah, Sonon's new to the story. Oh. Uh, oh, I, I felt like I could have thrown it at it while I was on it, maybe? Maybe not. Poor ass rats. Holy God damn. Assassin Board 3. Oh, that is a, uh... What are you attacking? That did not do nearly enough. Damn, Sonon fucking died, brother. Jesus. Sonon fucking died. Holy hell. <sighs> yeah, this dark. What, these dogs are so hard. It's weird how difficult they are. Play on. What? Level design's a lot more fun, that's for sure. I'd say this is moderately enjoyable. Is it amazing? No. Moderately enjoyable? Yes. That headbutt did 900 fucking damage. Oh yeah, brother. Oh god. Dude, I landed the uh crazy ninjutsu bullshit. It felt good. Obstructed. Yeah, I understand what obstructed means.
them just like Okay, I'm dying quicker. God damn, the combat in this is so much fun. Can't believe how much fun Yuffie is to play. Get over there, though. Get over there. Um, get over there from that thing. Oh, let me go down here. Well, that definitely ain't it. This definitely ain't it. You probably got to throw it while you're on it. You probably got to throw it while you're on it. Yeah, but how do you throw it while you're on it? that one thing obstructing some shit again? Some shit was being obstructed. That affected anyway? These dogs are back! God damn it, I almost had it. Jesus Christ, brother. back up there which seems unrelated to all of this bullshit down here right seems unrelated I almost got to be up there hmm. Hmm. they only go they only go two ways Is there another path I am missing? One, two, one, two. Yeah, you can get up there. Bro. What? How do you get up there? Tire! 
Okay. Aha. Huge thick ass brain. Thick boy brain. Magnify? Oh, it's really good. Uh, ice. Try ice. Might actually be worth it. And here's how you get down. I saw this pole. I was like, dude, this is for something. Glad I did that. That is one crazy looking lizard. Why me? Why me? Holy shit! Dead as shit. Bird is dead AF. Emu destroyed. Emu demoralized. Conveyor belt passes through storage brake containers with shurikens. Screw over Shenra. Get to it. Huh. Huh. Simple enough. Yeah. That box! Where is it going? Son of a bitch! Son of a bitch! Oh my god. I am so bad. Went for like the hardest targets you possibly could.
Oh. The box! I'm weirdly having fun. Having an awkward amount of fun. Unlock the synergy limit break on Sonon before boss. <clears throat> um, is that in here? Materia slot, guarding ability. Incendiary limit breaks? What? I can't afford it. <gasps> Phil's limit break gauge when inciting or provoking enemies? Is that it, chat? I think that's it. Take that. I actually don't know where you go to upgrade limit breaks or how you get them yet. Take this. Lightning material, what the hell? Gothic bangle. These are very expensive. Dodge him up. What are we, what are we thinking about getting here? One is good, but no um, connecting slots. What do I currently have? Yeah. We really don't need it on Yuffie. Need it on Sonon. Yuffie gets three slots? Okay. Buying it.
the heavy duty bracer. Yeah, that's significantly more. Uh, it is significant. Um, increases damage dealt proportional to character's current HP. What? Oh, this is some weird shit. That's some weird shit. Now spill it! Who gave you that information? Oh, his name was something like... Heidegger? Wrong answer! <laughs> I'm going to ask you again. All right, all right. I'll tell you. It was Rufus. You don't say. Or was it Ojo? Nice going, Gigi. Ready to do this, boss? Born ready. Great. I draw their attention. You grab our guy. A diversion, huh? I like it. <laughs> but don't forget, I'm the leading lady. Hey you! Evil doers! Over here! What the hell? Who's there? Glad there's no anime influence in this at all. Not a single bit. She died. Award-winning performance, boss. <laughs> Who are you anyway? Giants. Got eyes on hostiles. Requesting backup. <laughs> the near automata boss. Metal Gear. Dickhead. Oh God. Do it. Oh, this will be fun. I 
earned this. Oh my god, we can't touch that part. Oh God. Okay. Gotta target the end. Oh, I tried to do it. cool. I teleported through both multiple of them. Oh my god, what? This bitch sacrifices himself for me. Oh, was that it? Oh god, I wasn't even paying attention to its health. That was not it. God damn, Sonon. for it. Oh, He's so about to get killed right again. We'll get him next time. You can thank me later. Okay. That's cool that you can like multiple times avoid all the enemy shit.
abilities. Let's go for, I think it was weak against. Oh no, wait, I can do ice. It's not ice, it's probably lightning. Holy shit. So abilities, uh, lightning. How many of these fucking things are there? Sonon, you don't have your limit yet? Let's go! That's fun. Very fun. <laughs> it was nothing. Well, it did earn you these. Hmm? Employee ID cards. They'll get you into the Shinra building. And pretty much any floor. <laughs> basement included. That's where advanced weaponry's got their lab set up. And where they conduct their materia research. If what you're looking for is anywhere in that place, it's gonna be there. Got it. You guys should probably get moving. Word is, Shinra's got something big lined up for us. Nothing less than <laughs> but you have to take the stairs. <laughs> but whatever it is they're planning, they're better off out of it. Right. I'm gonna go report to the others. Good luck up there. See you soon. Yeah. <laughs> Next up, I'm by. I'll show you how Wu Tain's really party. Deal. Huh? Mm -hmm. oh. Don't forget to tell the Splinter Cell about Sector 7, I mean. I won't. Well, boss, sounds like we better get going. Let's head up as soon as you're ready. Ready! I think that's where we actually leave off the Yuffie DLC, right? Right around here. To think this is where those bastards plotted their attacks. Right under our noses. Too bad they made it out before the military could get here. Like chickens flying the coop. Probably best if we don't stick around. Let's catch the train. So, uh, <clears throat> yeah. I think we're going back to Walmart now. And now back to Cloud, who is going to be looking for a dress. Meanwhile, then I got to figure out what I got to do here. We got to do Johnny's side quest. We need to do that. Meanwhile, the yeah, other side quests all over the place now.
You know, I've heard from more than a few people that my son Johnny has been roaming the streets of Walmart. Before he leaves town, I need to make sure I deliver him this lucky pillow. I have faith in my boy, of course. But a growing man needs plenty of sleep. Sleep of good quality, no less. That's how mind and body stay healthy and active. In other words, this pillow is crucial to his health. <laughs> the pillow should be like sitting right there. My wife is back in Sector 7. I thought it best she wait for me there because the establishments in this town are uh, provocative. <laughs> of course, I haven't been to any myself, so I don't know what goes on around here. Not in the slightest. <laughs> sure. I believe you. I believe you. A bottle of adrenaline. Hooligan. Don't know about you, but this place sure is a lot weirder than I thought it'd be. Yeah. What did you expect? You know, something less. Uh... Adrenaline. Aerith, shut your eyes. I love this music transition down here. So funny. This guy is high as a kite. I guess they're closed right now. I feel rejuvenated and alive. It's like I've got a brand new body. It's like I've got a new body. That was the best thing that has ever been done to me. Not you two again. Told you once, I'll tell you a thousand times. Got nothing for you. Now scram. Wait, hear us out. You're one of the trio, right? I want you to get me into the audition. Pretty, please? Why not? Really? Sure. Next time an audition comes around, I'll put your name in the hat. Next time will be too late. Can't you get me into this one? You want in now? No can do, sweetheart. Already recommended Tifa. She's got this in the bag. How can you be so sure Corneo will pick Tifa? You never know. He might pick me. Damn, you really do want in, don't you? Sure do. Then how's about we play for it? Call it, Missy. Heads or tails? Yes, right. I'll grant you your wish. <sighs> Guess wrong, and you'll leave me in peace. Bullshit. Hey, don't look so glum. You're a pretty enough gal. Just not quite Cornell's cup of tea. But if only the Don will do, try convincing one of the other two. That's why it's a trio and not just load from save. If I see that coin of yours, <sighs> trick coin. I had a hunch. That's cheap. 
cheating. And that's the wall market way. Lesson learned. Still cheating. It's always a loss. Shut up, chat. Telling me I'm gonna get this thing and friggin' try to do this stuff. Chadwick. Cloud, I will go wherever my research leads me, but the success of my endeavors rests entirely upon you. Your assistance would be much appreciated. Chadwick, I had to, yeah, turn in all this shit. Already did that. Cloud, I have come up with the most fascinating theory. Perhaps you can... Aha, new... new dailies. Hey there. Are you looking for anything in particular today? Not yet. Not... yet. You... Where the hell am I going? Where the... Where the shit? What? I can't believe I bought the same disc twice. Uh, excuse me. If you like, you can have it. Thanks. I know she's not supposed to see any of her customers outside the bar. It's stronger than I told you. You're not allowed to see me at work. I hear it. I hear the honeybee in. I do not see the honeybee in. God damn it. This has happened to me several times before. Huh? Where the shit am I now? All right, reset. All right. Here? No. Wait. Found it. That was weird. This the place? Think so. Let me handle this. You wait out here, okay? Then why would I do that? No, I'm coming with. I'm not really sure that. You're a man of many talents, but talking isn't one of them. Good evening. Oh. Hey, uh. Welcome to the heart and soul of Wall Market, the Honey Bee Inn. Is there a honey boy or girl whose company you desire? Uh, we're here to see Andrea Rodea. Ah, the shining star of the Honey Bee Inn. Now, are you the one who made the appointment, sir? Can I have your name? Oh, we don't have an appointment. I see. I'm terribly sorry, sir. An appointment is required, and the earliest available slot is three years from now. Three years? All we want is five minutes. He can spare that. I need his help for the Corneo audition. Yes, well, regardless of the circumstances, you cannot meet him without an appointment. Is there really no other way? It is rare. But Mr. Rodea does occasionally extend invitations to individuals who catch his eye. Otherwise, I'm sorry, but there really is nothing that can be done. I guess that's that then. Oh well, let's try someone else. We're running out of people to try. Oh, Is the lady still here? Every second I can. It's the only way I'll become the best. This is not plot relevant. Gotta stay sharp, though. 
Lifetime bands or lifetime bands. Okay, last spot. Damn, I love the way this place looks. Yeah, Madam M was not working. So... We're back. If you're hell bent on getting in, then go bother the trio. Son of a bitch. Last chance, Madam M. Run, Johnny, run! Can I talk to you? Oh, Johnny's been had. She's a siren, I tell you. My Gil. Johnny. This must be the place. Welcome, welcome. Just the two of you? Step right up. Now then, what manner of massage do you desire? Say what? Is this your first time in our establishment? Mm -hmm. We are a hand massage parlor. An excess of fatigue and tension can make even the simplest task a terrible strain. It is our pleasure to relieve our patrons of that tension. <laughs> And what better way to seek relief than through the skilled ministrations of a professional? So now that we understand each other, what manner of massage do you desire? We're not customers. Then you are... Hoping you can help us get an invite to an audition with oh, Don... Oh, love of... Say another word and I'll shove this fan right down your throat. Oh. Uh. Ugh, this is the last thing I need. You're young and stupid, and I suppose that means you think I'll let you off easy. So, you want what? A favor? Well, here's the thing. This is a massage parlor, a respectable establishment. But if you don't require our services... Then tell me! Is there any reason I shouldn't have you dragged outside and... Then tell me! ...wasting my valuable time? Well... Hmm... Name? Cloud Strife. Hand. Huh? Give it to me. The strong, firm hands of a fighter. Yet they possess a certain elegance and grace. Okay, Cloud. Let's see what you're made of. After that, we'll talk. So, which course will it be? Three thousand bucks is a lot of money. Like, that's a lot of money. <clears throat> that's a that's a lot, dude. That's money I need for shit. Luxury is the best. God damn it! <laughs> You're lucky I don't remember what happens. This is worth two doom rats. This exclusive treatment is reserved for our most well-to-do patrons. First, the hand cream. A generous coating for- This money's for Marlene Schoolin. ...your richly deserving fingers. Let's start. 
with the tips. That's it. Relax. I'm only here to help. We locked out of the sauce? Oh no. <laughs> then I'll move on to the base of the fingers. Let's see if we can't improve your circulation. You get that blood flowing. <laughs> no, don't fight it. Stress is poor. This camera angle, dude. And finally, some gentle stimulation for the palm. No more than a touch. Just Oh, what was that? A cry of pleasure? Is this how you like it? How about this? Or maybe this? <laughs> I, need, I need an adult. If that was to your liking, do come again. Right. The best part here is that you control Aerith. How was it? Huh? <laughs> you okay? <laughs> yeah. You're acting weird, Cloud. <laughs> I am. I am? Really weird. Think you'll make a habit of it? All right then. I think I've seen everything I need to see. So? Tell me what you want, and we'll take it from there. You're one of the trio, right? I want to get into Corneo's next audition. And why in the world would you want to do that? Hmm... Okay. Really? But you cannot go dress like that. Huh? I could never send Corneo a candidate for in such a plain looking getup. Doing so would call my position as one of the trio into question. Is something wrong with my outfit? Looks comfortable. <laughs> Does it matter what I think? It matter what I think? I think it's pretty cool. <laughs> I think it's cool. Take it outside the parlor, would you? Sorry, we'll stop. So, what should I do about the outfit? <laughs> you just leave that to me. I'll put you in a dress so fabulous. You'll look like a I think it's it. cool. <laughs> so long as you can afford it. How much? What I said. But don't worry. It's obvious you can't afford a dress with that kind of price tag. So listen. I have an idea. Uh. There's an underground coliseum in this town. Up for a fight, Cloud? Good. Because I'm getting you into that arena. If you win the tournament, I'll transform Aerith into a drop-dead gorgeous beauty. Is there any prize money? <laughs> yes. For the person who got you in. So, what do you say? All right. That's what I like to hear. You'll need this. They're already letting fighters inside. You should hurry. Run along. What have we got Off we go. To? Nothing good. I wouldn't expect a fair fight in this town. Think we can win it all? That's one thing I'm definitely sure of. I appreciate the confidence. Just don't get too cocky, okay? Too good for my fun. Just beginning. The doors are so cool. Please enter from the right. This looks so good. Remember to bring the tickets, right? It's so hilariously accurate to the old game. The squat bros. Please 
contenders you from the right. And contenders right? from the left. Of course I did, baby. Put the right. What's this? You're here to compete? <laughs> I hope you know you're cutting it really close. So, the two of you are a team? Team? No, it's just me. Yes, the two of us are a team. I need to get into that audition, but I won't let anyone else fight my battles for me. That includes you, mister. All right, team it is. Head to the waiting area down below. Oh, the funny waiting area stuff. Hey, you're not nervous, are you? Nope. Really? You're even more quiet than usual. Just trying to focus, like you should. <laughs> hey, lovebirds, over here! In the city that never sleeps, in the paradise of debauchery and sin, the pain and pleasure. Where your every desire can be indulged for the right price. For money. For you as Dean Patterson with the past and bloodshed, we bid you so the good. warmest of welcome. Are you sitting comfortably? Or tonight, the most gruesome spectacle anywhere in Walmart or beyond shall be yours to witness. Here in the Corneo Coliseum. Tonight's grand prize is no less than one million gold, and there's only one way to get it. Brutalize your opponents, utterly and utterly, viciously, without mercy, until they vomit life. Only the most ruthless fighters, the savages still standing here at the end, shall claim the skill and the glory. And now, the long awaited division with the Blood Star Feet will battle for your amusement. <laughs> Warriors of every shape and size will fight to the death before is, your very yeah. eyes. Midgar Smackdown. is really something you two wait here until it's time what have we got in here uh mithril armlet huh huh Whoa, we're getting a whole bunch of shit. Strength by 10%? That's way better than the power wrist guards. Actually, twice as good. And twice as expensive. Or, like, seven times as expensive. Oh, shit. I'll take it. Uh, I'll take it. I'm waiting. You two, wait here until it's time. Is it time? <laughs> Johnny again? Oh, <laughs> you again. Ouch, what happened to your face? I just needed a little scratch, you know? So I signed up for the preliminaries and, well, I hope you guys realize what you're getting into. I don't want to scare you, but you can make a run for it. You should. <laughs> Cloud and Aerith, your match will begin shortly. 
Please make your way to the gate. We're in way too deep to back out now. Are we though? Are we? You two ready? Damn straight. Not to get yourselves killed. No guarantees. For our next batch, we welcome two fighters, a young couple no less. Talk about a bad day. God damn, I love this the theme. First date, and most likely their last, inexperienced as they are, or are they? Tekken music. <laughs> okay, now I'm mad. Zero, one of Walmart's own, a renowned master of beasts. Will his guests make a meal of our two challenges? The culinary eyes! They've already been given their appetizers. Their hunger for flesh and fear is unquenchable. The demon falls to hell. The penguin stalker! Doggy, and we're running. Can you believe it? I don't think anyone saw this coming. I love it how it's their classic win poses. And the winners of our match are Cloud and Aaron. One win down. Go team. Hmm. What's wrong? The rules don't make sense. Yeah, true. But maybe it'll be better in the next match? Nah. Wouldn't bet on it. Better to expect the worst. Well, that was some bullshit. <laughs> Cloud and Aerith, your match will begin shortly. Please they can, they send you like flowers and shit. That's what they call beginner's luck. But the next match won't be so easy. Ready to rock? Just remember, try not to die. Roger. For the second match in our spectacular semifinals, fresh from their first date with death, I present the lucky couple. We're like unlucky for the rest of us. Give it up once again for Cloud and Eris. Couple by Isn't it uh compensatory damages, guys? Yeah, back. Oh, 
Guns and shit. Stun me? Chops. What the hell did I just see? It was two against, uh, I don't remember how many exactly, but a lot. But somehow the winners of our match are. Once again, Cloud and Eric. From the bodies. did give him a massage, you know. His palm told quite the tale. He's cheated death more than a few times. Hmm. So have half the people in this town. Anyway, we're both still alive. Call it. <sighs> there you go again. One of these days, your luck is going to run out. When I fall for grace, Maybe I'll land in your parlor once more. That is one mistake I will never repeat. <laughs> you gotta admit, Andy, the way he moves is totally amazing. Andy! <sighs> Next up, the big finale. Yeah. I thought you'd be happier. Just thinking about what we might face next. But you know, we've made it this far. I'm sure we can handle anything they throw at us. I don't think this is... the big fight yet. I think I got like one more. Before I have to start actually gearing up for Hell House. Cloud and, Aaron. and you need to gear Final up for Hell House. I need to make sure I have like one of every materia on make your way to the because game. I need all, I need wind, I need ice, I need fire, I need everything. Does this mean I don't got to play dead no more? Damn, you two are really something else. I could use that kind of muscle in my game. Where's the third guy? There he is. Oh, hungry. Man, you proved me wrong. 
You guys are pretty good. It's the final match. You good to go? I've got a lot of money riding on you two. Win it for me. Ladies and gentlemen, our time together is almost over. So much fun. Tonight's thrilling Corneo Cup, filled with <laughs> unprecedented upsets and drama, has only one match to go. <laughs> we know. We're just as disappointed as you are. But ladies and gentlemen, all good things must come to an end. So let's celebrate by getting so damn loud, they'll hear us up on the fly! Yeah! Come on! What's more, the sweethearts who've surprised us with upset after spectacular upset. The power couple with the boundless love for bloodshed. The champions of Madame M, Cloud, and Eric! It's like some crazy modified sweeper. Yeah. Source for a storm. Oh, my God. So it's my turn. Your silence that is not good. Crazy. Magic on Aerith is insane. My condolences. Oh, you're taking this rather well. I was looking forward to a little temper tantrum. You bet it all on a toss. Sometimes. Get burned by Lady Luck. Every coin has two sides. You're right, of course, even if they are both the same. Later. And now, I believe I have a prize to collect. Sorry, the madam will have to wait. The Don's demanding that we tack on one more match, it seems. What? If they win out, then you get paid in full. Now hold on just a goddamn minute. His call, not mine. <laughs> now that that's over, we can go save Tifa. So we'll head back to Madame M's, get you changed, and then it's off to Corneo's. Right. 
sorry to be the bearer of bad news, but you still have one fight left. What do you mean? The crowd loved your show a little too much. People are placing hefty bets, much heftier than you can possibly imagine. Corneo's going to milk this for as much as he can. Meaning what? You face and defeat Corneo's fighter of choice, and only then will you be declared winners of the tournament. Hey, that wasn't the deal! Don't you think I know that? <laughs> you greedy bastard! Scum-sucking piece of shit fester asshole! <laughs> the chat's kept getting That's off on this, Madam M. Chill. Corneo's the one who makes the rules around here. But if you win this match, Corneo will have to accept your victory. And the crowd will make sure he does. So this is the last one? I sure hope so. Go on now. That prize money is going to pay for your dress. So, which spells do I prioritize, chat? Um, you put like fire for the ice form. Alternates there, right? Fire for the ice form. You need all four? Do, you, do we really? So we don't need Magnify. So Lightning. Uh, fire counters Ice. Uh-oh. <clears throat> what counters... I don't need Elemental. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So... Berserk and Poison work. So how, do, how does it work? Fire counters Ice. Does Wind counter Lightning? Lightning to wind or vice versa, right? So that's it. Ice and fire, wind and thunder. Done. That's all we need to know. Welcome back to the stage of history. Damn, does my ass not have wind materia? Ah, oh, fuck. Cadley has the wind materia. That bitch. All right, maybe we'll maybe we'll be able to do it without the wind materia. Lightning, ice. Automatically use the provoke to prevent the enemy from drawing attention to teammates. Yeah. Somebody said it could be poisoned. Hmm. I'll probably have to get poison materia. Just maybe. Synergy on Aerith for big damage. Yeah, do I did I I got synergy. So I cast, she casts. Right. I'm actually going to hold off on that because I need her to... I should put that on cloud. Yeah. Give it a shot. Watching you guys fight gave me ready to kick. Let's go. It's not even about the money anymore, man. I just want you guys to win it all. Thank Show you. What you got. Tonight's Corneo Cup has been a spectacle like no other. And we shared your disappointment, ladies and gentlemen, when we told you that it was coming to an end. But nobody felt it more keenly than one time Corneo. Who has decided that a bonus match is in order? Yeah! Our 
participating in this match will be this evening's leading lights, the dynamic duo that has crushed all competition thus far, Crow and Eric! That's the chat again. Their opponent, buried in the bowels of the Coliseum. An unspeakable horror, long in prison, set free tonight for your entertainment! The secret star of Don Cuneo's stellar stable! Enter the hell! And this is when you knew FF7 Remake was something special. Huh? It's a house. This is when you know. It's just a house. It's no ordinary house. The manifestation of pure evil versus the most badass couple this side of Midgar. Have you ever seen a fight more incredible, more epic? You have not. No, sir, you have <laughs> not. They'll be singing songs about tonight for generations to come. Keep your eyes Hardest blue. boss in the main Keep campaign, the potentially. Gentlemen, the Cups fight final battle begins. Because it's a huge now. knowledge check at the start, right? Did it whip? Keep it together. Here goes. Can you take over for me? Oh, here it comes. Oh, deal with that. I'll show you what I can do. Oh, I got straight up eaten. Here it comes. The architect must have had one too many when he designed this thing. Okay. Wait. It's almost just a thing. No. Not yet. Ladies and gentlemen. Oh my god, it sat right on it. Can you take over for me? God house mode. Double 
Sure. Maybe we'll get lucky. Sorry, I know it's sudden. Grab your coat, folks. You're gonna wanna bundle up for this. We've got the Queen of Ice herself coming in for a meet and So I think it's under uh, fire right now. Cool. Lightning. I think it is still under thunder. God damn it. Okay, she was doing stuff. Is that going to heal it? Because it's under ice right now, right? Just did very little. Fucking shit. Oh, damn, bro. This could be the beginning of the end of our lovebirds. Of course it went away. You've got this. All right. No. Not really good. Not looking good. So it's my turn. Get him. Cloud died again. Oh dear. Okay. <laughs> One more shot. Yeah. Yeah. And it's about to chow down with the competition. Cloud, huh? can you survive? Okay, we did it. He survived. Heavens Ward. Spells. Let's cure a cloud. It's your turn. Hang back. Don't overdo it. I'll show you what I can do. Electricity, it needs wind. I'm coming. Because a storm is brewing on the using it. It's your turn. Take it over. Stay strong, okay? 
God house mode so frequently it's insane. It's still tough. <laughs> Elemental weakness boss, multiple elements. So sick. He did it. Yo, Crust, thank you, dude. Chelsea Nia, thank you as well for the 10 gift subs. That boy. <laughs> Awfully rare you showing an interest in someone. What will you do? <laughs> so cool. Didn't you tell me you guys were gonna kick so much ass? Can I get your autographs? Isn't like a shop in there here? you are. I've been looking for you two. So Madam M wanted me uh, to Uh sure you, thank you. And Death Squall, thank you. Damn good, and that you should swing by her shop when you're done here. Got it? I was also hoping you might be interested in a few more matches here at the Coliseum. Big events like the Corneo Cup are pretty sporadic. But there's always action if you want to get a piece. You want to fight a battle, head to the abasement, talk to the staff. Items cannot be used during the battle, but HP and MP slightly restore. Cool. Congratulations on the win! You know, tonight's tournament is going down in history. This guy has some stuff. With these babies, you can send intruders flying. I guarantee this is the only home protection you'll ever need. A cute stuffed animal, also an explosive. Only a few left. Get yours while you can. Yeah, uh, I think you get the other, similar to the old game, you get limit breaks down there, right? So, how tough are those to get, chat? Should we come back later and get him? <laughs> Yo, 
Yo, Solerco waves, thank you. Oh, they're stupid easy. Okay. Huh? You want to take me up on my offer now? Cool. Then I'll see you down below. Yeah, we should just do it right now. If it's dumb easy. Well, can't say no to that. for you. So, what are you in the mood to fight? Yeah, we just gotta like clear them all out. Reward, legacy, ascension, planet's protection. sick. Want to just make some snappy like that? Hell yeah. Let's go. I swear to Christ. This sucks. Bitch is gonna put me to sleep now. Still alive? It's over. It's never in doubt. <laughs> this sucks. Literally getting sucked. Burn. No holding back. Let's finish this. <laughs> What? Nothing to it. Get ready. You're mine. Let's get this over. Damn, boys. Was never in doubt. Solo Hell House wouldn't be that bad because you'd have all the materia you need. You know? Goddamn air combat. <clears throat> Nothing to it. That can't be it. That can't be it. That's crazy. That's crazy. Bring fire for Aerith. God damn it.
Jesus, dude. Jesus, dude. Let's just slap out like an extra thousand damage or some shit. No problem. Earth's killing these dudes faster than Cloud. Magic is insane. Animals weak to ice, humans fire, robots lightning. Get him. We'll make it quick. Wrong dang thing. Dude, how is it already dead? How is it already dead? I, I didn't even need to... Wow. Wow. Holy shit, she's a god. Yeah, if you can avoid damage, she seems nuts. Just nuts. Yeah, double arcane... Oh, arcane ward doubles sorceress storm? What the fuck? That's so crazy. Come back anytime you want to fight. Well, I got those. That took literally no time. Um, so where the hell do I set my limit breaks, huh? Um. Ah. Ah, that's really good. And also, Aerith, do you have a new weapon? No. We're still sitting on that, okay. It does not double sorcerer's storm. Why not? Why not? Yeah, we gotta go to the weapons store and buy some stuff. If I can even afford it. Sucks I got no money from doing that. <clears throat> Thank you. Thank you. I feel special. Thank you. I don't give a shit! Cloud, I love you, man. It's the weapon shop in here. It's actually behind us somewhere. Ah, yeah, this weapon shop. Welcome to Walmart's premier weapon shop. The hard ass. I need it. I really need it, actually. Got it now. Do come again. 
This is one of my favorite weapon designs in the OG game as well. Just looks sick. Let's see what's on it. Crazy shit are we looking at? Attack power, attack power, buff duration. That's pretty good. Attack 5%, aerial attack, punisher mode, <laughs> crippling damage. Fuck. Aerial attack? Get this shit out of here. I don't care. Magic attack power and buff duration. <laughs> Jack draws, thank you. So yeah, I'll, I'll just set that to auto. Prioritize attack. Okay. <laughs> DPS is my passion. I live for deeps. Uh, anything else we got going on in town right now? Gotta go back to Madam M. It's crazy how much I enjoy Wall Market. I really do. I didn't. I do not like Wall Market in the old game. It's like the weakest part of Midgar, in my opinion. You're here. Good. I have everything I need to get started. Just one thing before. Yervin Gale, thank you. Remember to check your Prime Gaming chat. <laughs> thank you, Yervin Gale. I've heard Jack draws. Thanks for the Prime, dude. Helping out the people of Sector Five. If you don't mind me saying so, though, you could be doing a little bit more. The rule of karma is highly respected in the slums. A somewhat decent person deserves a somewhat decent dress. But really, let's not kid ourselves. Corneo's not even gonna look at what she's wearing. All right, now that that's out of the way, once you change, you won't be able to leave town. Are you sure you're ready? All right then, let's get started. Beauty takes a lot of work and preparation. Far more than you'd know. In the meantime... I'll go dress? Let me see, let me think. No way. What did I have to do, huh? Experience the best of what this town has to offer. I got the red dress on my that first really playthrough. Yeah. Do. Not interested. <laughs> then maybe you can show the town what you have to offer instead. Which is to say, why don't you try putting Had to do all of the side quests, yeah. Here, had to do mind. all of Aerith's side quests really in the town. To oh, and that's where it was. Extra. Okay. Extra. That's why the dress stuff is so cumbersome. Show me what you can do with it. Same shit with Cloud, right? And that's enough of that. Aaron, it's crazy cumbersome. Oh boy, I can't wait to see the dress. The dress is part of it, sure. But we'll also need to do something about that plain Jane makeup and hairdo. This is gonna take some work. Ouch. Well, I'll see you later, Cloud. Peek, and I'll poke out your eyes. Quest is called Burning Thighs. I should go peek. I should go peek. No! Cloud! Finally! Tifa! She... I... Tifa! She, she's... I don't... Take a deep breath. What about Tifa? I heard Corneo was gonna audition new girls soon. And Tifa's... Tifa's gonna be... I just... I, I don't know what to do. Well, I do. I'll come too! 
Hey, Cloud, bro. I can call you bro, right? Nope. Just want nope. to say, bro, that I'm totally relieved that you're looking out for Tifa. So, like, how'd you get so strong anyway, bro? I said, the way you fight is like totally and violent. You know, I really wish I could be just like you. My problem is that I tend to overthink and overanalyze everything. So, bro, do you have any advice for a smart stick? Well, this is. Oh, no. Call me crazy, but uh, I have a feeling that I'll just be getting in the way. Go find Aerith at Madame Mims. Tell her to wait for me there when she's done. Think you can handle that? Yes, sir. Do 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 you know that's only good for women, right? Yeah, it's for Aerith. Who? Oh, that girl you were with. Sorry to hear that. Well, either way, you're stuck out here, pal. I can't let you in. I wasn't asking for permission. Huh? Wouldn't try it if I were you. Trust me, you don't want to screw with the Don. If you even think about causing any trouble, he'll make sure someone pays for it. And that someone might wind up being the girl you're trying so hard to break out. Or it could wind up being someone you've never even met before. Get it? You're in the Don's world now. Anyway, you've got some time yet. The audition won't start for a while. If you're sure you want to go through with this, then bring the girl and the letter. But if I were you, I wouldn't. Don't rescue Tifa. Bad idea. Yeah, we don't need to do all the side quest stuff. We have we have done it before. Here we go. <laughs> it's not bad. I didn't get the lame dress. I've never actually never seen this one. I've never seen this one. Go on. Hey, yeah. Hey, what are you wearing? I hear Corneo likes his girl super duper curly and dog up. Never heard this music well, either. I thought he might appreciate something a little more down to earth for a change. What? You don't like it? I didn't say that. Then. Does that mean you do like it? Uh. Hey, wait a minute. Did Johnny forget to give you my message? The one asking me to stay put? No, I got it. I was worried about you. I'm starting to think this place is more dangerous than we thought. Who knows what they'll ask you to do in this audition? No way in hell I'll let you go in there by yourself. By myself? Oh, don't worry. I wasn't gonna. Come on, you'll see. See what, exactly? According to Madam M, you've caught the eye of a certain fabulous someone, and they'd like to meet in person. Huh? Huh? Eh? Look at you all dolled up and fabulous. Where are you headed? Well, what are we I like it that everyone, like, heckles you. Pretty little lady. <laughs> the guys get up and like straight leave their girlfriends. Oh, I was like, I gotta talk to this Chadley guy. Oh god damn it, Chadley! I need some of your shit. Chadley's like, I don't want to make this awkward, but go hell, go to hell. All the girls are jealous and shit. the honeybee inns Andrea Rodea and convince him to give you his stamp of approval. You said you didn't want me going alone, right? Well, with Andrea's help, you can join me. It'll be fun. 
And honestly, I think you'll look pretty cute in the dress. A what? <laughs> a what? It's for Andrea to take a personal interest in someone. At least, that's what Madame M said. Trust me, this is gonna work out great. A what? Uh... Come on! Don't you want to save Tifa? Wait. No can do, Cloud. This is our plan, and you'll learn to love it. So, here's how I think we should approach him. Madame M said Andrea was a man who'd give anyone a fair chance to win him over. So I say we march right up to him, explain the situation, and see where that gets us. I don't dance. Sound good? Smash cut to, to Cloud absolutely cutting it. Good evening. Rukasu, thank you. Welcome to the entertainment extravaganza that is the Honeybee Inn. We're here to see Andrea Rodea. You must be Mr. Cloud. He's waiting for you. Mr. Cloud? I've been instructed to send you through without delay, sir. Please, make your way to the stage in the back. What stage? The one in the back, sir. Straight through those doors and down the hall. Huh? Wait, can I do the same shit? Yeah. He's got acupuncture in his neck and shit. Just like the OG. Palmer. I'm gonna get ya. Dude. Come on. Let's take this sedative. Huh? Who's there? Uh, whatever. <laughs> trouble seems to... What's the answer? <laughs> I'm so damn proud of you. You still here? But why? <laughs> but why? <laughs> but why? Hey there, doll face. We've been waiting for you. Come on in. Have a seat. No, I'm not here for... Huh? Oh, wait a minute. I think you might have wandered into the wrong room by mistake. She calls you weird, right? Shucks. You would have been a fun distraction. <laughs> you could stay a while, you know. Stage is through the door on the left, babe. Shucks. You would have been a fun distraction. One of, the, one of them does call you weird. Or something in the old game. Andrea's guest, aren't you? This is your first time, right? It's okay. Do you want to practice your dance moves first? No. Why would I want to do that? 
Andrea thought it might be a good idea. No. Over here. Come on now. Hey, hold on. Oh, I can't ever like watch this because I have to focus on playing it. Good. That went great. Oh, good. You've got real rhythm, mister. Move over, girls. A new dancer's come to town. I'm ready. Come on, come on. The show's about to start. <laughs> my, my. Is that Cloud? Mm, darling. The shame. I had no idea. <laughs> <laughs> Damien Walker, thank you. You could. You just sit tight until Andrea takes the stage. Look at his muscles. Ah, oh, he's flushing. <laughs> This dance number shit is insane. This game's insane. This entire, yeah, all, all the wall market is a ride the first time you go through this game. must first prove that they know how to move. Don't dance. Think you can follow my lead? Oh, God. It's tough. <laughs> it's fucking game. No, I missed it. No way. Okay. Focus. 120 FPS, let's go.
Why? Oh, Jesus, God. Oh, I pressed the wrong button. It was blue. Oh, no. Oh, no. Press the wrong button. It was the wrong color. Bullshit, bro. Oh my God, it's always earlier than I think it is. Tough. Very tough. Nice move. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> Honey, I'm in love. Yes. Yes, I will transform you into a vision of beauty. Wonder if that affects now, the dress. Without further ado, let us begin. Nothing is technically tied to the mini game. Look at the middle dress. You were born for this. No, this is the default one, right? Yeah, it's the normal. It, it's the weak dress. It's the the default one. Is this mid? Got the mid dress twice. It's in the side quest while you wait for Aerith. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We got all the god tier dresses before. I don't know if I've ever actually seen this one. The blue one is the reference to the old game. Right? True beauty is an expression of the heart. A thing without Is this the OG one? Which notions of gender don't apply. Don't ever be afraid of it. That show today blew my mind. This shit is funny. Was it planned from the start? Oh, probably well, not. Did you see no, there? That was a show. <laughs> it doesn't say anything. Cloud? Yoohoo, Cloud. Hello? <laughs> it doesn't say anything. Aerith to Cloud, come in. Aerith to Cloud, come in. Please don't. <laughs> Please don't. Not a word. Not even one? No. But you're so pretty. <laughs> it's so faithful to the old one. That's what's crazy about this. We all thought the shit was going to get cut. Oh, wow. But the way you're staring at me is rather... Oh, oh goodness! Who is she? I need to learn everything about her. Response. <laughs> Fucking Chadley. Mm. There you go again. Stop looking at other girls. <laughs> <laughs> Am I dead? Did these beautiful angels come for me? 
<laughs> I like it how all the guys are egging you on. That is one hot chick. Huh? You're planning on fighting in that getup? I don't know about that. That is one hot chick. <laughs> Uh, third time's the charm. No way. Here you are. Letters no. from Andrea Rodea <laughs> no and Donna way. Palmer. That ought to do the trick, right? You serious? <laughs> you fucking What the fuck are we doing? I hope you know what you're in for. Oh, we'll be fine. <laughs> what the fuck is going on? If you say so. Come on. <laughs> The two of you here for the audition? Second floor, at the very end of the walk. And don't go poking your nose in where it doesn't belong. That one's Madame M's girl, ain't it? And she's hot. We've been waiting for you to show. Hey, hands to yourself. Oh, second door, sorry. That Andrea's girl? I'd let her do things to me. <laughs> go to your room and wait. Quietly. <laughs> Let her do things to me. Keep walking. We like to quickly gas the chicks. Why? I don't know. What can we escort you to the party? So you can make yourself comfortable. Let's get this show on the road. Where are you taking us? Come on now. Let's be lazy. You want to throw down the Corneo curve. So if you leave a mark on him, you ain't getting off with a horn. I know. Man, it's going to get some real lookers this time, though. <laughs> oh, hey, can you hear me? <clears throat> Tifa? Jesus, Tifa. Yes? You okay? Good. Wait a minute. <gasps> Cloud? Is that you? Oh my god, that makeup and that dress. Nailed it. I know. Thank you. Moving on. <laughs> <laughs> you good? Yeah, bit woozy, but I'll manage. <sighs> hey, Tifa. How you doing? Uh, okay. Oh, right. I'm Aerith. A friend of Cloud's. We were worried and thought we'd come help you out. Uh, thanks. Cut the chatter. We gotta leave. Huh? Right now. Uh, no, not until I've got what I came for. What? So, after we made it back to the slums, some guys came around asking all kinds of questions. So I did some digging. And found out they were Corneo's men. Right. They were interested in Avalanche. But... I couldn't figure out why. So I thought I'd come and ask the man himself. Seriously? Thought if I could find a way in and get some one-on-one -on -one time, but then I realized I'd only be one of three candidates, and that if he didn't pick me, it would all be for nothing. Then your worries are over, aren't they? Because the other two candidates are right here, right? Uh, right. So yeah. If we're all in on it, then nothing can go wrong. Uh, I guess not. You? Me? Cloud? 
Makes no difference who gets chosen, does it? I don't know, Aerith. It feels wrong getting you involved in all this. Don't even bother trying to talk her out of it. <laughs> oh, Cloud gets me. Took you long enough. <sighs> don't even bother. <laughs> She's not gonna say so no. I think they'll call for us when it's time. This room gives me the creeps. Wait, what do you have material wise? Okay, nothing weird. Do this. <laughs> do you want to do this? <sighs> well, Jesus Christ, Tifa, chill, <laughs> chill game. Who lit all these candles? Cloud gets the mega pretty dress, he gets picked. You look kind of familiar. We haven't met before, have we? Mm -mm. <laughs> uh, whatever. All right, y'all good to go? Then let's do this thing. Introducing Walmart's most eligible bachelor, the one and only Don Corneo. Lady? Don is so well done in this. Very nice. <laughs> Whichever one shall I pick? Mm. Oh. Shall I pick you? <laughs> or maybe Too snowy, you? thank you. grabs him Oh yeah I've got it I've got it Today's bride to be is Today's and tomorrow's or the day afters if the dawn takes a shine to you Pathetic Huh Hey which one of you said that was it you? Ooh, you got a mouth on you. I'm going to enjoy breaking it in. <laughs> Jesus. Today's lucky lady is the big bone girl. <laughs> Still playing hard to Oh, get. does Cloud always win in this oh, one? Oh, yeah. The leftovers are all yours. Yeah. yeah. It does because of the Cherith fight. Yeah. Y'all come with me. Don't be shy, little kitten. Shimmy on over and give daddy some sugar. No need to play coy. Nobody here but you and me. Oh, you're even cuter than I thought. Back off. <laughs> this kitten's got claws. I love it. <laughs> What was that? Don't you worry, your pretty little head. Just a picture to preserve the moment. 
And to ensure you don't do anything inappropriate like say no. Asshole. Oh, praise me more! <laughs> <laughs> hey, yo, fellas! We got guests, and y'all got first crack at entertaining them. Courtesy of the ever generous Don Corneo himself. Never forget the Don provides. Yeah. Good day. So, ready to get to it? Yeah. I guess I'm good to go whenever. How about you, Tifa? Hmm. Four guys between us. Okay, let's not keep Cloud waiting. Right. Wait. I know you. The Coliseum. <laughs> what the hell? So cool. <laughs> Don't get stupid. <laughs> Her ultimate weapon. I swear Aerith is going to get a chair in the next game. I swear she's gonna have a weapon that is a chair. They're aware of the memes, you know? Andrea filled me in on the situation. I come bearing gifts with you. I'll do what I can to clean this up. Just finish the job. Thank you! Okay. Then we go like whoop ass, right? Let's go rescue Cloud. Corneo's room, right? Yeah, I gotta put materia on you, Tifa. Jeez. <laughs> Elemental fire. Should be good. Give you back a uh, chakra. And uh, you already have deadly dodge. <clears throat> Magnify. All right. Um. Put lightning on here. Actually, ice is pretty good. Ice is better now that I think about it. This just sucks because it takes so long to activate. Man, I'd love to spend some quality time. That's not linked? Oh. Shit, you're right. It just looked like it was linked for a second. Um, then Aerith will get Magnify. Might as well use prayer. Like that. Bet they're going at it right now. Wait. There's like loot in these things. What are you doing here? <laughs> hey, ain't you doing it? Let me handle it. Damn it. Bring it. <laughs> I'm coming. Are you backing off a bit? Christ.
Well, that's the objective. Hold up. Probably nothing down there for us to get. Yeah, there's like some items in here I gotta go collect. I swear is it. I swear to God. I knew it. An otherworldly crystal. Reduces the duration of detrimental status effects. All right. It's all right. Yeah, it was a talisman. Not bad. Tell me that's good for apps fight. Uh, let's just put it on then. Now these guys are all dead. I keep my distance if I were you. See you <laughs> You'll see. Can you take over for me? Jesus. Worked up a good sweat. God damn, Aerith, what the hell? This is something good. Yeah, that's good. You put that you just keep that on cloud and he never needs to use the berserk attack anymore on um on stance mode. Thirty percent damage given and taken. That's good. You just don't get it. I'll smash him. <laughs> don't stop. Tell me what you a bad boy bastard. I am. <laughs> yes, yes, I am. Here I come, baby. <laughs> hey, who the hell gave you permission to do that? One of you get in here and teach this bitch some manners! Sorry, but your boys had to learn some manners too. What the? Cloud, your clothes! Uh -huh. oh. 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 So you're a man, huh? What are you three up to? We'll ask the questions. Like, why'd you have men in Sector 7 asking about Avalanche? Man. Huh? Don't know what you're talking about. Don't play dumb with me. Let's try again. Why did you have men in Sector 7 asking about Avalanche? Spill the beans, or... 
I'll cut him off. All right, all right, I'll talk, I'll talk. <sighs> Some guy with a gun for an arm. I was paid to find him. Paid by who? I can't tell you that. They'd hunt me down like a dog. Well, you better. Because if you don't, I'll rip them off. <laughs> it was the director of public security, Heidegger. It was Heidegger. Shinra. And what were they planning? Some things are better left unsaid. You know. See, I'm not so sure they are. Better keep talking. Or I'll smash them. <laughs> He's kind of into it in the end. <laughs> All right, you got me. I could never say no to a sexy girl. Since Avalanche blew up two reactors, Shinra's decided they ought to stamp them out, home base and all. And I mean, stamp out. By targeting the support pillar and blowing it up. The pillar? Did I stutter? The plate will come crashing down. It'll be Sector 6 all over again. I'm sure you've been there and seen the wreckage for yourself. So you know exactly what Sector 7 is gonna look like. They wouldn't. Come on, guys. We gotta go. Before you do... No. Please, this won't take long. As everyone knows, villains only divulge their plans in a certain situation. But what is that situation? Hmm. I <laughs> like the dance he does here. Oh, I'm sorry. Time's up. The answer lies in the sewer. There's actually a fourth option if you don't say anything. <laughs> Enjoy the sights and smells. <laughs> Are we on schedule? <laughs> the Turks are on top of it. Yes, there will be no delays. Please, Mr. President. I am asking you to reconsider. No, begging. The Sector 7 Undercity is home to more than 50,000... <sighs> Director Twisty. At least let us issue a warning, sir. The stench of the director's cowardice fills the room yet again. <laughs> Breathe. Progress requires sacrifice. Learn to live with it. Yeah, sewer ground, face to ground. This is a funny, like, hidden choice you have here. You know, not exactly hidden. Where in the? Damn it, Reeks. Not exactly hidden, but you know. I'm just gonna do th three circles. I'm gonna run. And it was Aerith. Aerith. Uh, Cloud. Uh. We have to get to Sector 7. Yeah. That bastard!
That's a big tough fight. We gotta cast fire on the horns, right? First off, can you take over for me? We gotta switch it up. Let's do this. I can hide. Take the lead. I'll take care of them. Thought I was getting his ass kicked. getting his ass kicked. It's your turn. I'll take over. Need to heal up. Here goes. Tagging out. Don't give up. Stay strong, okay? Take the lead. Oh my god. Got on the summon. Oh, we want like E for it, right? <clears throat> Let's do that. You're up. Uh, who's low? Tifa could use the most. I'm getting the fuck out of here. Take over for me. Another one. Stay back. Feel the 
Uh, who's got prey? Oh wow, that's helpful. It's probably really gonna hurt. Thanks. I'll show you what I can do. God damn, bro. Oh, I can end this asshole. Nothing personal. He ran away. He ran away. What a piece of shit. Still fun. <laughs> I'm going home. Yeah, doesn't it survive? There it goes. Do you think it lives down here or? It was probably Corneo's pet. And we were dinner. Hey, you don't believe that crazy story of his, do you? Shinra wouldn't sacrifice a whole sector just to take out Avalanche, would they? Destroying part of the city, killing all those people just to get at us? I don't know. Is Corneo the kind of guy who'd make up shit just to screw with you? I wouldn't put it past him. But if he was telling the truth, hmm? and there's still a chance he was, isn't there? Then we should go. And if it turns out he was lying, then so what? Right? Mm. Hmm? Uh, uh, Tifa! I knew it. These tunnels are all connected. What is it? I'm pretty sure we can use these tunnels to make our way back to Sector 7. The sewers under Sector 6 and 7 should be connected. If you get in trouble, just follow the stench. Another one of those lessons? An avalanche saying, actually. We Ugh. just have to move around the Undercity. In emergencies. Sure we're not lost? Positive. There should be a big wall. Let's find that Ugh. So gross. The whole part is so... Can we not? <clears throat> can we just, like, you know... Not...